We should get out there. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Catch a smile out there. Chief of security, if you'll follow me, 
I'll show you to the director. We'll take the back way up. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. So, uh, Nisha. What the? Easy, easy! What the hell was that? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. But there's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? <sighs> Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Who's there? Oh, oh, thank God. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? What do you mean? Wait. How did you get in here? Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But... he's dead. No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... the accident. Maybe... maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Right. We were studying a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... they're all dead. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic odd. Disappear! We should! Wait, he's back! Alright, we're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it. This way. Director? Thank you, Ethan. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. Excuse me? That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Burned out? The leak? 
Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? You know something about it? Really? That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. Ah. <sighs> This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. We can't shut down the pro, but we might be able to adjust some of the other parameters. It's risky. We don't know what we're dealing with, but... <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into? It's you. What happened? You disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and... and... I thought I'd finally lost it. What? How? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess.
Look at this. It's going to take hours to clear this out. Assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? Uh, yes. Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. The Kataxi in the other universe. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. I've got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together. But... Uh, that's what I'm hoping. I'm still willing to talk. Haha, <laughs> I hear you. Maybe we can work something out. Alright, yeah. It's never been field tested, but all yours. Did you get lost in the hallway? Uh, all right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabolts. Calibrating to 95. 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach. But what in the world? A micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Hmm. Step into the distortion, please. Hmm. Nothing. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of prison. Stay there. Let me turn the feedback up for a moment. 
calibrating to 90, 91. What happened? Are you all right? So the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Right. If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the high energy research lab. Disengage the power interlocks, then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. Try not to get lost in the hallway again. Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Nishina is a closed system. Two potential states held in tension. When you shut down the experiment, that tension will resolve. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you and your universe, at least. The question is, which will you choose? Hmm. If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. 30 people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe, you don't have to decide now. But when the time comes, please keep them in mind. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day.
The security lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals.
Controls are available on designated security terminals.
even mean? Director, he's coming around. Careful, dear. Slowly. How are you feeling? So you did? When the lockdown ended, we found you both, out cold on the floor of the lab. And then we found our Raphael. I still can't believe it. To me, you've all been dead for months. And then, just see this. It's a lot. It's really a lot. In the end, I suppose it did. We're never going to be able to publish this. You're free to go. And to take the artifact. I think it is abundantly clear how little we still understand about it. For saving Raphael and our research facilities, I'd like to offer you compensation to the full extent of my authority. And as for me, I've decided to take a leave of absence. After everything that's happened here, I need some time to think this over. But you ever need an engineer, just say the word. I owe you everything. Thank you. This has been a truly remarkable experience. <laughs>